Hi students, it's Ms. Bully here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some different examples of Indigenous artists in Canada. So let's get going! So here's our slideshow for week one with some different Indigenous artists and different ideas to think about. So our first painting that we're going to look at is this one. So I'd like you to look at it and look carefully. And I want you to think about what is going on in this picture. Once you have an idea of what you kind of think might be going on in this picture, think about why it is that you say that. So is there some clues in the art that are causing you to think certain things? And then you're gonna think about what more can we find out? So that could mean looking even more closely at the artwork and finding out even more, maybe noticing some things that we hadn't noticed before, or it could mean doing some research and finding out more online. So let's have a closer look and think what we think is going on in this picture. Hmm, what do I think is going on in this picture? Well, first, I think I can see two figures there's the one that's above on the top, and then there's the one that's below, sort of diagonally on the bottom. That's a really good one, and I kind of think that that top figure looks, I mean, maybe not human. It has a lot of different arms, and it has, I think, maybe two different heads. Whereas the one that's at the bottom of the page is, is looking more human. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on, but I am noticing some more things about the colors. I'm noticing that the artist has used just a few colors. So I just see yellow, blue, brown, and maybe some other variations on those colors. That's interesting. I'm also noticing in the background there's some paint dripping. Yeah, and there's seems like a little a few little birds and animals that are around that human figure, as well as uh, maybe a butterfly. Hmm. So what do you think is going on in this picture? From all of those things that we've just noticed, can you put together sort of a story? And why have you put that story together? What are the things that are making you say that? And finally, once you've done those things, See if you can find out more. So maybe this means looking cl more closely and noticing additional things, or maybe you're gonna do a little bit of research if you can. 